flexible headcast that we're going to use in Meg, and today we're going to talk about how it fits and what to do when you're scanning a subject, and mostly about safety. So it fits on the subject's head, and the outside of the headcast fits inside the Meg scanner. You can still see out, and today we're going to talk about the safety precautions that are outlined in this document, which is also online. So the first thing you want to check when the subject comes is that they fit into the headcast and they know what it feels to be inside the viewer. So Gareth is wearing the, the gown and we're going to put talc on because the gown is just to protect against the talc, which helps the headcast slide in and out much more easily. <laughs> so now we check with the external doer that it fits and that it doesn't feel uncomfortable for the subject. So if we just place it on here, gently pull down, you can see that it should fit at the top here and that the ear flaps should fold out to where the doer skirts out. So you can check that they're all the way up and that they're even. And now to get out again, Gareth should push in on the ear flaps and I can take this off. So because the subject's head is going to be fixed very firmly inside the neck doer, it's very, very, very important that the no mechanical parts move while they're wearing the head. Just position the subject as you normally would. So raising them up into the neck scanner without the, without the head cast on. We now lock all the controls. So nothing can move, not the, not the scanner and not the chair and not the back of the chair. Everything is locked throughout the whole experience. So once the system is locked in position, the subject can slide out on their own. We can then practice going in and out, sliding in and out with the head pass. And here you can check again that they're at the top with the eye holes and that the sides are also touching where it skirts out. And now to get out again, the subject can push in on the ear flaps and slide out. So now that the system is fixed and all the controls are fixed, subject knows how to get in and out of the scanner and is comfortable. We can now put the fiducial coils in their indentations and tape them. And before we start scanning, we need to ensure that there's a functioning alarm button that the subject has access to. And lastly, we need to make sure that there's a video camera and an audio system in place for monitoring the, the subject throughout the whole recording. So as you can see from the amount of maneuvering we did on the subject's part, we only use healthy, young, normal participants because they need to be able to maneuver out on their own. The main problem we do potentially see is feelings of claustrophobia. So we try to screen for that before the subject comes into the scanner when we wear the external doer, and also in here by letting the subject practice getting in and out on their own. Another very important point is that we only scan while the subject is sitting up. This is because it's much more vulnerable to be laying down in case anything should happen with the mechanics of the scanner. So sitting down ensures that it's much easier and safer for the person to get out and to protect their neck so in case of any unforeseen circumstances where you need to get the subject out without their cooperation, you use the same method as they do for getting out. So you push in on the ear flaps, and then you push down with the heel of your, of your hand on their shoulders. So here, the subject just slides up. 